Hi, this is Kung Fu Android, and today on Kerbal Space Program, I wanted to do a single stage to orbit, but that has proven to be very difficult. So, um, let me show you everything I've unlocked. Well, first, I want to go back. First, I want to show you some of the science I've done. These are my flags that I've planted. And they are all over Kerbal and all over the moon. <laughs> you can see all the flags. And with the science I've retrieved from these flags, yeah, and I, th I think I've shown a, a, a Kerbin mission and a Mun mission or Moon mission. Well, doing each one of those without killing you guys with repetition, I've gotten the science to unlock all this stuff. I've gotten clear through this branch and I've started on the next one. And the next one I want I've already got I've already got that because I was still wanting to do my SSTO and I want this. Not even sure exactly how that works. Let me see. Uh, uh, despite the big scary trefoil trifoil painted onto the side of this engine its radioactive exhaust and tendency to overheat the LVN atomic rocket motor is harmless mostly oh great um it's only got 60 thrust 220 ISP uh, 800 in vacuum and I'm not sure what all what that all means, but I'm gonna get it. That leaves me 213, not enough to get anything else, I don't think. So back to here. I believe our next mission should be to Mun, or not Mun, uh, Minmus. And to do that, I want to cannibalize my existing ship because it's just, it's all these stages here, right here, with all them rockets, and it's all asparagus staged. So, what, and plus there's just, you can just get tons of science off of this. So, if I can steal this and put it over here, let me zoom in. Oops, up, 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 up. I'm going to grab that piece right there. Yep. Put it down onto here. I can. Uh... Uh, we'll call it the um, most of a rocket. Because I believe, I believe it'll make it to, uh, to Mun. Uh, what I want is a different, wow, I'm going to gain lots of mass. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, reusable. I'm not sure about all these. I'm just trying to figure out uh, which one. Crew capacity one. Crew, crew, crew. This one has a crew capacity of three. One. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's a. I want the one with a crew capacity of three. There we go. It seems to be really big. Uh oh. It... Okay, now this is going to take a minute to generate. I, I clicked on. Oh, there it is. 
There we go. All right. <laughs> that looks really big. <laughs> Let's see what kind of parachutes I can get on there. Uh, that looks to be a parachute. Yes, it is. And a drag of 0.1. Drag point one crash tolerance. Okay, so that's apparently a drogue. Drogue shoot. Let's see. Parachute is double the size uh, variant of MK16. What's the MK16? There. Uh, double size variants at MK60 now with only 50% of the structural integrity. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> then why don't I just use that? Because it's way too small. Um, hold on while I deliberate. Oh. Okay, what I was looking at was uh, this the MK16 XL has all the same stats as this one as the original parachute uh, I don't we're I'm gonna roll the dice let's go ahead and grab that I got parachutes all around the side hopefully that'll be enough let's do some structural stuff to this and a little X there we go. Let's go ahead and pull that off. That's from the old one. So now they're all tied in. Let's go ahead. Let's do a little bit more. There's one right there. Let's go ahead and do that. And I think I don't know if you can hear my mouse spinning. I think that that should be enough, hopefully. Let's uh, call this to the minmus. Is that how you spell it? And we'll save it. And launch it. I'm not. I'm, uh, this is my first trip to minmus. So, just like probably most of my other videos, there's going to be a wreck somewhere in this. Uh, I'm going to try and cut through uh, to, the, to the staging of each section. But the first parts should go... Let's go ahead and time warp a little bit. That was nighttime. I want this to be a daytime launch. And there we go, daytime launch, SAS on, even though we don't have advanced SAS on this. Uh, throttle up, because they're all gimbling engines, and this is all small, old technology. Ooh, that, that's way heavy up there. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know now if I have enough. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, but I got the three faves, uh, Bill, Jebediah, and Bob. Um, that permadeath idea I had, I'm going to have to save that for another series, because I totally messed this one up. Okay, the first bit of staging's done. They drop away. I don't know if you can see them. Looks like only one of them dropped away. Uh... No, no, it's going too. Okay, the next stage is coming up. These first couple stages go really quick. And then after that, it's going to be uh, a lot more time in between stages. So, I'll drop those two. And then I'll cut. Cut back in. Note that we're at 100 meters per second. Drop the next two because they're out. We're only at 38, uh, 4,000 meters above the ground. 
Getting ready to drop the next two. We're only at 130 meters per second, 6,000 meters above the ground. Dropping those two. We're at 160, or no, 175 meters per second, 10,000 meters above the ground. Dropping the next two. Gonna wait for the next stage before I start my roll. Okay, I'm at 250 meters per second. Uh, what was that? 16,000 meters in the air. Ready to start my roll. Drop the next two. Roll over to, what was that, the 45? The ship is a lot slower. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, check out this view real quick while we're rolled over. <laughs> Look at all the flags. Yeah, that was a lot of research. Okay, now we're not even close. We're only at 28, 30,000 meters there. So, we got a lot longer to go. Getting ready to do the next stage over here. Go ahead and stage that one here in right now. Just flamed out. We just passed the 1K meter per second mark and we're at 47,000 meters per second staging. And let's check our apoapsis. We're at 60,000. We're coming up on uh, the what could be an orbit, but I don't believe we have enough. Uh, speed and fuel we're, <laughs> we're a lot worse off than I've been before because I wanted to take through the three-man pod up uh, let's see where we end up still got quite a bit of fuel there and we're ready to roll over to uh, um, straight horizontal uh, I had a little glitch there a little hiccup went off the went off the line but there we're going in a straight horizontal and then I'm gonna bring bring the nose down even more until it stops counting up so much there we go that's actually counting down a little bit uh, that'll be fine. It'll start counting up here in a second as our speed increases. Let's check out our fuel. This is this is crunch time. <laughs> Will we make it? Uh, doing pretty good. Our only saving grace is if see it's it's climbing again. We're doing good. Is that we don't need that much fuel to get back once we get there. Getting back, it should be a piece of cake. Uh, and then once I once I uh, make one barely successful attempt, gonna stage again. Uh, I will go ahead and do several runs um, off camera. Uh, we haven't made orbit yet. That's disconcerting. <laughs> Uh, seeing is we have to get an orbit and then make it clear out there and it doesn't look like we're gonna because we're relying on that one rocket to do it and we're still climbing that's for sure just not very fast. We should get a periapsis here pretty quick. Right back in there. Come on. This is slow going. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I haven't been doing too many Minecraft episodes here lately. That's, that's There's our periapsis. I'm going to go ahead and 
nose down a little bit just to try and bring it up a little quicker see how that does should bring it up very really quick there that's an orbit now I have to figure out it's right in line let's go ahead and set that as our target let's go ahead hmm Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to start, I'm going to start burning, uh, I suppose, right here. I think we're in a good spot, seeing as it's lined up with the moon and it's on an outer, it's on a further out orbit. Normally I would start burning for the moon right there, but I'm going to start burning for Minmus about the same and in about the same way so and the only way I can really guarantee that will even come close is if I burn on that mark there so yeah I'm gonna go ahead start burning on that node try and keep it uh, pretty well lined up and it's going to be a very long burn because I'm going to push out that far side clear to Minmus's orbit out there so I think we got very lucky that it's in line with the moon where it would normally burn for the moon. So I'll see you in a couple minutes. A couple minutes real time. I don't think there's any way I can warp through this. Oh man, I just ran out. <laughs> Need to throttle down. Uh, stage. And then go back. And just throttle up just the slightest bit. Watch for an encounter over here. Throttle down a little more. I'm right at the bottom of my uh, uh, throttle. I, I can't go any lower. I'd stop. Let's see if I can get an encounter. This is pretty much my only hope. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And... Well, bam! I got one. Ah, oh, look at that! Look at that! You got me an encounter. Now let's let's just go. Yeah, warp it, warp, warp, warp that stuff. Yeah. Oh man, uh, that moon! I had a moon encounter. Uh, while I was expanding out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now, let's hit, let's just take a second. I've got, I got full fuel. Oh, yeah. I think things look pretty good for my first visit to Minmus. Oh, oh my heart's racing can't believe it okay this is my first ever time going to Minmus okay oh wow okay slowing down just a little bit and okay sped it <laughs> see there it comes right there Okay, now I need to spin around to a 
to face retrograde. And I don't know about... Yeah, I'm going to line up exactly retrograde. Speed up a little bit more. Time warping. And... Let, let's get down to the periapsis. Before I get too silly, let's zoom in. What is that periapsis? Alright, yeah, that ain't bad. I was afraid. Maybe I'm just uh, getting ready to run right into Minmus and, and blow this whole thing. Uh, would not be great. You know. Alright. Uh, that's good enough. Facing retrograde. Gonna feather up on the... On the... Throttle. Till I get get her down slow enough. Yep, I'm slowing down. Still hasn't even began to act like we're going to be doing an orbit. Right now it's just a really fast flyby. Wow. We have to be going slow to set up an orbit. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of savor this a little bit and get down to what I think is level. Whoa! <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Dang it. What? I about oh I couldn't have screwed it up. I'm I'm in an orbit, but for what I wanted to do. Okay. I think I would have wanted to be on the periapsis side, but that's all right. Okay, <clears throat> let's make sure we're slowed down. Spin her around to the north. And I'm going to try burning a little bit. Just to see. Nope. So we need to be... Uh, opposite 180 out from north which is south let's go ahead and which is cool now we're going to level this out nice We'll go around to the periapsis like like I should and go to the retrograde marker which is almost on the 90 which means we're pretty close burn some more Bring everything nice and down, nice. Wow, that's a small planet. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, I think it's time to stop screwing around. <clears throat> we got to get this. We got to get this done. So... I am going to bring it down to very, very, very low over. Let's get her. Okay, buried it in the side of it. 
that's pretty low I think we're actually uh, ooh, we're orbiting oh we're going into some rocky stuff too I might go ahead and carry us um, I'm going I'm flying that way I'm gonna fly up and that way to try to there it is try and get us over that and I'm going to change to this view to come on in we're at 47,000 feet not going that fast oh it's close 20,000 ooh it's very pretty <laughs> and I'm very nervous Mashing on the keys. Come on. Where's my marker? That's one way. There's the other. Okay. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Something's changed. Go ahead and uh, I'm facing the right direction. Let's go ahead and bring her on in. Down to 9,000 meters. Oh man, I'm just concentrating so hard. Uh, okay, I like that. Let's slow her on down. Turn it. Throttle up. Let's get this sucker stopped over this nice flat area. I'm trying to follow my retrograde marker as my speed decreases. All I can do is tell you what I'm doing because, wow. Okay there now we're at 3,000 meters and I assume it looks like we're right over a flat spot now I have uh, did an action group on my gear and the lights oh the lights on this I just put landing gear on it uh, free electricity they'll fix that uh, soon enough I, I should hope I'm gonna burn away from that a little bit I don't want to I don't want to land on it crew ooh this one's different oh no my altimeter that's what I'm looking for right there X okay and I don't think I can oh I can time warp wow I couldn't time warp like this over the moon Okay, it's 3,000 meters here. Okay. It was 5,000 meters on the moon. Okay, we're drifting down. Come back. I'll come back when we're closer. Okay, so 
I, uh, I'm moving the ship around according to these uh, markers here on the screen. I can see my ground altitude right there. It tells me I got a little bit of space between me and the ground, but it's starting to move, right? So, and I was noticing light coming in from somewhere. Oh look, Kerbal's up there. Huh. I was noticing light moving. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Okay, <laughs> I was starting to drop too quick. That marker right there, that tells me I'm almost on the ground. Watching my speed right here. Trying to keep it below 9. Almost on the ground so I can go like this. And watch me touch down. Nice. Sweet. Turn off all that stuff. And... Du -du -du -du. Made it on the ground. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, sweet. Alright. <clears throat> okay, I got an action group for this. All my science. Bam. Shoot. Oh, no. Wait, no, it still works. Sweet. I just hit the uh, number one key, and I got 125 science. And... Uh, while the material samples were processed, you begun to turn your thoughts to how much Minmus looks like a minty dessert and have discovered that you are now hungry. Nice. Uh, you observed the goo for 50 apiece. That's cool. And then I got another goo and another goo and another goo and another goo. I'm observing. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, Minma still looks like a minty dessert. It looks like it's all a minty dessert for 125. And greater flats. Still looks like a minty dessert. And I'm still hungry. All right. Now, let's do a crew report. Nice for 25. And let's EVA and let's try not to go into orbit. There we go. All we, all I want to do is plant a flag. Call this first science on Midness. All right. And we'll take a surface sample for 150 and do a and do an EVA report for another 40. And we'll get out our stuff, fly up, let's see, oh, grab, board. Okay, that was Bill, now I'm going to do that with these two, I'm going to EVA both of them. There we go. I'll be back. Okay, I've run into something. Each one can't take uh, can't take an experiment back. Um, so all I got is the first experiment. Let's 
Uh, see if I can even... Oh, I should have just done EVA from up there. Let's see if I can even... If that's true, then... Yep. So, I'm going to have to do three different pods, I think. All right. So, how we get back is... Uh, Minmus is traveling to the right. and that, So, I need to take off to the left. In doing so... I'm going to have to let it rotate around until my ship is sitting on the left hand side like that that's why I wanted to bounce to even out my orbit to level out my orbit so now I am on the left hand side so when I throttle up we're also in the dark but when I throttle up I am automatically heading without any orbit change or without any heading change I will end up uh, in a orbit Uh, let's see. Around Kerbin. With, let's see, I should be able to just decrease it from here. Yep. Decreasing it from here. And we're getting down to... Yeah, we're in the atmosphere. So let's head home and collect our science. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like we're about to hit the moon. Whoa. How close is that? Where's the moon? It's got to be around here somewhere. Come on. Where is it? Okay, there's that. There it is. And it's flying away from us now. But we went right next to that thing. Wow. Okay, heading home. Looks like we're going to crash right into that puppy. I could turn it. Wow, we got tons of fuel. Yeah. Yeah, Minmus <laughs> takes no fuel at all. So, but taking three Kerbals doesn't doesn't net anything in the way that I did it. So. Oh heck, I don't even got. SAS on. So I'm going to bleed off and uh, go down to the ground. Well, despite my effort to burn, uh, to dump as much speed as possible because of our how our entry is, uh, I'm almost out of fuel, and we're still over 2,300. <clears throat> now we're coming to the part where this could just really suck. <laughs> bad because of this uh, parachute trying to get the three-man lander 
three-man lander uh, down. I'm out of fuel. We're still at 17,000 feet, 17,000 meters above Kerbin. That could be 5,000 meters tall. We're near the mountains. So we're under 10,000 meters. Still got mock effects even after going through uh, uh, going through re-entry well I suppose that still is re-entry now we're getting ready we're coming into 5,000 meters we're still over 350 coming down on 300 meters per second I'm going to go ahead and deploy the chutes. Check down here. This will tell us how high we are off the ground. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're 150 meters off the ground. 100 meters off the ground. 120 feet per second. Meters per second. I'm pretty sure we got to be under 100. So, right at 105, oh, they deployed, nothing broke, 7.5 meters per second. Ah, oh, we did it. Let's go ahead and get down to the ground, because we're at 500 meters. So this is going to take a minute. Four times warp. And... We're down, or we're almost down. Don't count your chickens. We're down. Recover. How much science did we get? Min missing back. And come on. And let's go. Uh, 477.5. Total of 690. So, we can go ahead and grab, what are these? Large control, cupola, cupola module, lander can, fuel tank. Any game changers here? Girder segment. Hmm, that's interesting. The Tron Jr. I think there's a piece of science over here. Communicatron, seismic or a seismic accelerometer. That's good. Oh, uh, the chair, yeah, the seismic accelerometer. That could be, that could be something. Solar array, battery bank. Yeah. It's all, it's all good in one way or another. I think I'll just start at the top. Start grabbing science. See what we opened up. Ooh, what's that? The mainsail. There it is. And it's tank. Yes. Uh, 550 science. <laughs> And stack quad adapters, tri adapter, multi port, mm. Tron Senior docking port, clamp, Clampotron. I wonder what that is. And beam, it's I beam, I beam, pocket edition. <laughs> Rocco Max Micro Node. Oh, don't know. Whole bunch of structural stuff. That's cool. We can't see those two. All right. Okay, that's it for this episode. I have a whole bunch more trips to Minmus and a whole bunch more science to get. So I'll see you next time. Kung Fu out.